responsibility to seek out new and innovative ways to ensure the future of the baseball of baseball cards. To that end, I'm proud to be here and announce the MLBPA's partnership with Panini America and our multi-year baseball card uh, agreement. It's our strong feeling that Panini America, a global leader in trading cards and collectible products with its well-established brands, highly knowledgeable staff, and uh, worldwide distribution is best suited to capture this passion for ba and produce fantastic baseball cards. In 1961, they released their very first collection of Italian uh, soccer players in the traditional format in blind packets. Uh, and the collection was simply called Calciatori, which translated means players. Uh, it's ironic that 50 years later, uh, we're here in the U.S. announcing the fact that we'll be releasing our very first baseball players collection. When we first entered the U.S. market, it was uh, one of our key initiatives, our mission, if you like, to have a presence in all four U.S. major sports. And, um, you know, I'm very pleased today uh, to announce that we accomplished that goal uh, in probably um, more speedier time than we would possibly have imagined. And it gives me great pleasure to enter the baseball trading card market and develop a number of products with the MLB Players Association in the coming, coming months and years. You know, today's a, a great honor for me um, to be a part of uh, the Panini family. Um, for me growing up, you know, from the time I was born, my grandmother bought me a set of baseball cards every year um, until I graduated high school. Um, and the cool thing about it is, you know, when you first see yourself on a baseball card, realizing that, you know, growing up, you looked at these players on cards, you looked at, um, you know, the pictures, you traded them, you stuck them in bicycle wheels, um, you did all these things um, that kids do. And now that I'm on the cards, uh, it's cool for me to go to different parts of, of uh, the country and different stadiums, facilities, and to have fans bring cards back, um, you know, that take me back to my childhood and show me um, because they know that I'm a collector of cards. They bring my own cards back to me and say, do you have this? Uh, so the cards are, are a big deal. Um, so for me to be here today um, to help uh, Panini, you know, come into the baseball world um, is pretty special and is a great honor for me. Well, you know, the first the first one was, you know, I actually had a friend who ended up taking the pictures of me for my first card. Um, so um, it's pretty special. I remember it was just a rundown stadium, and I was on the back of a. Um, a uh, batting cage net, had my hand up and, you know, the bat here and, you know, kind of corny now that you think about it, but awesome at the same time because it's the first time I'd ever done that. Um, you know, and then having that, those minor league cards and then having that Cincinnati Red card, um, you know, kind of coming full circle um, after everything. So, um, and the same guy shot, I believe, the, the Cincinnati card. So, it was pretty special, um, you know, and it's a, for me, it's about the road, how, how I got here, how I got to that point. Um, so it's uh, for my grandmother to see uh, that first card, uh, not just a minor league card, but that first major league card. Uh, after the money and time she spent, you know, picking others out and the sets uh, was pretty special. So she had, you know, before she passed, she passed in 09, she had a book with all my cards in it. and. Uh, so it was pretty cool. This is kind of the next step, though, to be kind of the face of a company's offerings for baseball. Um, now you're going to be on the boxes of cards and the packs. I don't know if you've been on those before or not, but how does that feel? Cool. No, <laughs> no it, it's awesome. I mean, you know, like I said, to help um, Panini come into the baseball world, uh, come into the U.S. and um, really accomplish uh, one of their goals um, to get all four um, is pretty special. and. You know, like I said, an honor for me. All right, Josh, so as a kid growing up, aspiring to be a big league player, what role did uh, trading cards play for you? Uh, they just enabled me to get closer to my the guys that I enjoy watching play the game. Um, you know, whether it be a Cal Ripken, Tony Gwynn, Paul O'Neill, um, you know, and being in the backyard, swinging the bat with my brother, um, and going through cars and looking at these guys in their action shots or um, in their uniforms or whatever, 
um, just help me visualize what I want to accomplish today. Now, for a kid today who, who might pull a Josh Hamilton card out of a pack of Panini trading cards, what reaction do you hope that, that inspires? Uh, hopefully excitement um, because, you know, when I play the game, I, I like exciting people. Um, I like for them to know that I play hard uh, all out. Um, so uh, hopefully that would inspire the kids who ever pull it out and see it to do the same thing. Right, if you could appear on a trading card with any athlete from another sport, who would it be and why? Oh, man. I think uh, DeMarcus Ware. Yeah, with the Cowboys. He's a beast. <laughs> I don't know. I've talked to Nolan about this. Um, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I, could, I asked him, I said, Nolan, what would you throw me? He said, I'd uh, probably throw you high and tight and uh, then uh, work out of the zone. So <laughs> I had to say, Nolan, uh, how many times are we facing each other? Just once? Just one time. Oh, he's got me. <laughs> he's got me. Definitely he's got me. You know, pitchers always got the advantage anyway because they know what's coming and you don't. <laughs> Especially if you throw 101 or whatever you throw. Similarly, what's the single greatest memory from your MVP season last year? Um, probably uh, when Neftali fully struck out A-Rod to end the game in uh, game six and of the ALCS and took us to the World Series. First time, you know, for a lot of us as players, uh, but for the city of uh, Arlington and the Texas Rangers, you know, that was pretty special. At Panini, but we also made Justin Bieber cards. So my question is, which which ones would, would your daughters rather open up, yours or Justin's? You know, I'd, I'd say uh, Bieber. Um, I'm thinking they might be out of that Bieber stage now. Um, but between Bieber and me, definitely Bieber. Because <laughs> now you know, I have three girls, but now I have a fourth girl. So right. we'll see. <laughs>